Now let's take a look at the distributive property with variables. Okay, so for example, we could have this, 2a plus 3b. Now a variable represents a number usually, or it could also represent a quantity. For example, a could represent an apple, b could represent a banana. If you put parentheses around this quantity, that's like enclosing it in a bag. So it's like having a bag with two apples and three bananas in it. Now, logically, and if you're t thinking about language, what would it mean if, if you see this picture of a bag with two apples and three bananas, what would it mean if somebody put the number 10 in front of it? Don't you think that would mean 10 bags? Wouldn't it be? So if somebody puts the number 10 in front of this, that and this 10, 2a plus 3b is in parentheses, that's 10 times all of this, this whole thing. 10 times all of this. 10 of these, 10 bags, basically. And, I mean, if you have 10 bags, isn't that 20 apples and 30 bananas, right? So what, again, what we've got to do is multiply 10 times this, then 10 times this to get... 10, you know, 10 times 2a plus 10 times 3b, and that's 20 apples plus 30 bananas, right? If we had in a bag four markers, three pencils, and an eraser, and this is... Uh, on a school list for kids going back to school. Well, if you wanted to get um, all these items for 10 children, how many of each item would you need? That's what it's saying. When you see 10 times uh, beside a parentheses like that, and there's terms in here being added or subtracted, that's 10 of all of this. So multiply the 10 in. 10 times this, and then 10 times this, and 10 times this. So it is 10 times 4 markers, plus 10 times 3 pens, plus 10 times an eraser, which gives 40 markers, 30 pens, and 10 erasers, okay? And of course, you know, we don't usually need to uh, put the tens, but just to, sometimes you'll see that, that you'll have one to three tens here now and you started with one. Where did the three tens come from? Well, that's what happens when you apply the distributive property. It gets multiplied by each term in the inside the parentheses. So if we had, for example, three times uh, 2x plus y plus 4z, multiply that out, You just go 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times y, 3y, 3 times 4z, 12z, right? Now you may also have a debt. You might um, be, say, working as a stock trader and you might increase your Wells Fargo stock by 3, decrease your, your BP stock by 4. So if you were to do that transaction um, for, for, let's see, five different clients, so for five different clients, you're going to increase their Wells Fargo stock by three units and decrease their BP stock by four. What does that mean? Well, multiply it in. Five times positive three is positive 15. Increase the Wells Fargo stock by 15. Five times negative four is negative 20. B, so decrease BP stock by 20, right? So do this one. You're working as a stock trader. You want to increase Shell stock by 4, decrease Texaco stock by 3, and decrease your micro Microsoft stock by 1. Decrease 1 Microsoft. What if you do this for 10 clients? What happens?
Well, again, if you see a number in front of parentheses, it means multiply everything in here by the number. So 10 times 4s will be 40. 10 times negative 3, negative 30, t. 10 times negative m, minus 10 m, right? So the combined result would, would be you would increase shell stock by 40, decrease Texaco stock by 30, and decrease Microsoft by 10. Just looking for some examples. But what if you had, um, well, let, let's take it a little bit simpler. In a bag, you have an apple and a debt of $5, okay? In this bag, you have an apple and negative 5. So what would happen if you had two bags? like that. That would mean you've got two apples and then two times negative five is negative ten, isn't it? So you've got two apples and a debt of ten dollars. Now, let's have a look at when we multiply by negative. So in a bag we have an apple and a debt of five dollars. What happens when we subtract two of these bags? Well, it's exactly like negative 2 times positive A gives negative 2A. Negative times positive gives negative. Negative 2 times a negative 5 is next. This is a negative number times a negative number gives a positive number. 2 times 5 is 10. Okay. So if I subtract two of these bags, I'll subtract two apples, but I'll add $10 because I'm subtracting two debts of 5. Right? Or you could think about it this way. I've just, for, for 10 clients, I've, in, I've increased Shell stock by 4, decreased Texaco by 3, and decreased Microsoft by 1. So if I wanted to cancel that for 3 clients, cancel that transaction of 4S minus 3T minus M, what would that mean? If I was canceling increasing the shell by three it would mean this you multiply everything by negative three and write down the answer negative three times positive four is a negative twelve and negative three times positive four s is negative twelve s negative three times negative three t negative times negative positive three times three is nine t okay Negative 3 times negative m. Negative times negative is positive. And that makes positive 3m. Okay? So, let's say uh, in a bag you have, um, let's say you have 8 bananas, a debt of 2 marbles, and a debt of ten dollars okay if you had three of those bags what would you have you multiply them by positive three right so go ahead and calculate this see how you get on remember the pause button is here full screen is down here so that's 24b and minus 6m, and then 3 times negative 10 is minus 30, right? But if, again, if we look at this, 8 bananas, a debt of 2 marbles, and a debt of $10 in a bag, can't take away 3 of these bags, what happens? So multiply everything by negative 3 now. Negative 3 times 8 is negative times positive minus 24b. And what comes next? Write down the answer. Got to remember, negative times negative is positive. 3 times 2 is 6m. So if I cancel three of these bags, and in, in one bag there's a debt of two marbles, let's say, talking about children, well, to take away three of these bags would be like giving six marbles. 
If in one of the bags is a debt of ten dollars, to take away three bags you would be giving thirty dollars. Again, negative times negative is positive. Okay, let's just um, look at a bit of notation. If we had something like this, x times x minus 3, we have a number times something in parentheses, so that means we must apply the distributive property to simplify it. So we go x times x, then x times negative 3 or x times x minus x times 3. Now, how do we simplify these things? Well, let's just recall this. 5 times 5 is 25, right? But it can also be written 5 squared. How else can you write 3 times 3? 3 times 3 is 9, but 3 times 3 can also be written 3 squared, for sure. So, how else can you write y times y? y squared, right? Uh, how about um, a times a? How else can you write that? a times a? a squared, right? So, x times x can be written x squared. Now, so it's x squared minus, let's look at x times 3. Well, the thing about it is, if I had this apple times 3 it's a lot easier to write 3a 3 apples because it's more fluid language it, it's not incorrect to write a times 3 but it's more fluid to, to just say 3 you don't say I have an apple times 3 in my bag you say I have 3 apples in my bag so how what's an easier way to write banana times 4 banana times 4 do you say there's banana times four on the table, or do you say there's four bananas on the table? It's just 4b, right? So how about y times 5? How else could you write that? y times 5. Easiest just to write 5y, right? So this is x squared minus 3x. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. If we just had a plus b, in parentheses and nothing inside it at all. There's no number here. So if there isn't a number here, like a 2 or a 3, well how many bags do we have and what do we do? Well it's like having an apple and a banana in a bag and well there's only there's only one bag isn't there? So multiply everything by 1 and we get uh, 1a plus 1b. Another bit of notation is instead of saying 1 times a or 1a, we can just write a, right? Because 1 apple is, is just an apple. Or 1b is just a banana. 1 banana is the same as a banana. It's just b. So how else could you write 1x? 1x is just the same as x, isn't it? How about negative 1x? Subtract 1x is just like subtracting an x. Subtract one cherry. Subtract a cherry, negative c, right? Uh, so what about this? If we had apple plus banana in, in parentheses and we had a negative sign on the outside. That means well, how many bags, first of all? Is that a negative 2 or a negative 3? No, so there's just one bag, right? This means subtract one bag. Or in other words, multiply everything by negative 1. So we get negative 1 times A plus negative 1 times B. Or for short, uh, negative 1A is just negative A and plus negative 1b is negative b, so it's plus negative b, and plus negative is the same as subtract, so this can be written negative a minus b, right? So if I had two apples, three bananas, and a cherry in a bag, and I subtracted that bag, what would be the combined result?
Well, how many bags? There's only one, right? One bag. So it'll be like multiplying everything by negative one. And the easiest thing to do is just think about it in your head. Negative one times two a is negative two a. And you can write, okay, plus negative one times three b plus negative three b. Then this plus comes down, so negative one times c plus negative one c, which is negative. Well, you can write negative one c if you like. But, I mean, it all simplifies to negative 2a minus 3b minus c, right? So, you know, these things we can do, We can, instead of putting the plus negatives all the time, we can just write down and subtract. So, if we had three marbles, a penny, three marbles, a pair, and, um, and a debt of uh, $5, in a bag and a negative sign here so subtract one of these bags that would be like multiply everything by negative one multiply negative one by everything and you can just write down okay negative one times 3m negative 3m negative one times p minus p negative one times negative five plus five so it's a lot simpler instead of writing in plus negatives all the time just to Figure out what the sign is and write it down, and you're done. Okay? Because plus negative is the same as subtract. So you don't need to put in plus negative. You can just put in subtract, right? So if we had um, a debt of two marbles, a debt of $10 plus um, an Xbox in a bag and you subtracted all of that, what would happen? Well, it'd be like multiplying everything by negative 1, wouldn't it? Negative 1 times this, negative 1 times this, negative 1 times this, negative 1 times negative 2, positive 2m, negative 1 times negative 10, positive 10, negative 1 times positive x, negative x, right? So go ahead and do this one. Um, x plus y minus z minus w, all in parentheses and a negative outside it. Well, how many bags do we have? We have one bag. Subtract one bag. Multiply everything by negative one. Just calculate the signs. Write down the answer, right? Negative one times x, negative x. Negative one times y, minus y. Negative one times negative z. Negative times negative, positive one z, or positive z. Negative 1 times negative w plus w, right? 